Hi guys, welcome back to Bummy Budgets. We are now on week number four of February 2022. We're gonna be stuffing a total of $415. Uh, 325 is gonna to go towards our bills. Uh, $70 is gonna to go towards our cash envelopes and $20 is going towards our low priority sinking funds. Okay, let's get started. Let's get this money sorted. I hope you guys honestly had a great week. I'm excited for this week. I cannot believe we're on the last, pretty much the last week of February. Like, man, this month, I thought January flew right on by, but holy cow, Friday. I mean, February was definitely it too. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like I'm going to be saying this every single time. Oh, let's count how much money I have. Let's see if I can actually count this time. <laughs> so we got 100, 200, 50, 300, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, uh, 400. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Did we get 415? Yes, we did. Did I count it this time? Yes. No longer scuffed. <laughs> if only that was the case. Okay, so let's get this sorted. A couple of 50s this time. Thank goodness. Last week, we weren't able to get any 50s from the bank for some odd reason. They had just completely ran out. So, we have some pretty good looking crispiness to this. Maybe not so much the fives. The fives are looking, they look like they've been definitely handled quite a few times. But these dollar bills, oh my goodness, they're sticking. Look, look at this. Ooh. Okay, so there we go. Let's do that. Now we're gonna go ahead and let's do the lotion of the week first. And oh yeah, this is my jewelry for my little bobble for the week. Hopefully you can see it in the full extent of it. We are gonna actually have, we're gonna be using the Sol uh, de Janeiro, born in Brazil, the Acai Body Power Cream. I've had this for quite a bit, honestly. This is probably in the older packaging, but um, I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> that doesn't look appetizing, but I did dip into this earlier this morning, so I guess it hasn't, uh, formed yet. Ooh, that's a little bit too much, but that's okay. I will say with this, uh, lotion, a little goes a long way. There is a little bit of a sheen or maybe even a sparkle in this body cream. Um, I think this is the friendlier version of the Sol de, um, is it Janeiro? Yeah, Janeiro, um, line. I know like the, like the pistachio one, it's really strong. So if you suffer from migraines or if you don't like strong scents, do not recommend that one. That one's a little bit too overpowering for me. Um, hence why I went for this one. I think this is much more, um, gentle on the nose, um, but yeah, there's like a little bit of a sheen to it. I hate when there's lotion underneath your nails, but um, yeah, we're gonna have to power through that, I guess. I don't know if I'll be able to get all of that in there or out of there. That's like having food underneath your nails. I cannot stand that. Ooh, I do not like it. So hopefully I got all of it. Nope, definitely have some lotion in there. That is gonna bug me. Okay, so moving on. So that was the lotion for the week. Um, definitely not drugstore uh, price range at all. Um, I did get this with a, like I got this, I wanna say like more than a year ago. Yeah, I think even that's being generous. I really need to start using this cream. Um, it smells fine still, um, but yeah. 
I don't know, because it's just so sparkly, I tend to not use it every day, you know? It's like a going out thing, which I don't really go out that much, so. <laughs> um, but I would purchase this again. I feel like it's a little bit more on the oilier side um, in terms of like lotions and like body care items, but hopefully that's all the lotion I was able to get. Okay, so that was the lotion for the week. Highly recommend. The scent is mild, delicious, um, and it lasts quite a while on the body. I'd, yeah, not as much as the other one that they have, like the one in the orange yellow packaging, but the pistachio version is just way too overpowering for me. Okay, so let's go ahead and get and move on to our scheduled programming, which is our cash envelopes. We're going to go ahead and pull them out and let's see what we're working with this week. I'm going to leave my emergency fund there. I have nothing in gas yet again. Uh, <laughs> Gas prices are just, they just won't stop. They won't stop. So, got a, lot of, a bit of coin here. <laughs> I'll give you a background story. So, munchies and out and about. I guess we'll just leave this here. It's not bothering anyone. Okay. So, oh, but I do have to move this. So, never mind. I'm so sorry. You're going to have to go. You're going to have to go this way. Okay, so let's go ahead and flip on to the right page. We are on week number four, which I cannot believe already. Okay, week number four. So we are going to be putting in... Okay, so our munchies category has <laughs> one dollar left, guys. One dollar going into my quarterly one dollar savings challenge, and we are going to be stuffing a total of thirty dollars this week. So things are a little different, guys. I am going to be stuffing about twenty dollars, honestly, twenty dollars more than I usually do, um, because gas prices are so expensive. And if I go out more, I feel like I should definitely allocate more money um, towards that. So we're going to put one twenty, one five. This is a nice five. Let's get the not so cute five one. Huh? Yeah, that one. One five and five ones. One, two, three, four, and five. So that's thirty dollars right there. Okay, I'm gonna fold that over. Put that into our food envelope. Hopefully now that I have allocated more, I don't spend all of it. So I'm hoping that I'm going to have quite a bit of rollover. Hopefully guys, fingers crossed. Um, now we're going to move on to my spending. And so my out and about, I didn't spend anything. I know I had a 10 here and originally, but I had to in my cash out, which is the previous video before this one. Um, it just went up. Uh, I had to kind of like move around money um denominations and stuff so it's two fives here so that's going to go into my rollover and we're going to go ahead and put ten dollars into spending so that's going to be two fives so we're going to do one and two so these are some who compared to last week's fives yeah these have yeah they have seen many hands They have lived many lives. Okay. Hopefully I'll get rid of those. <laughs> okay, and then, so that's done. Now we're gonna move on to gas and gas is gonna get $30 this week, guys. So we're gonna put two tens. So one, two, so two tens. And we're gonna do one five, one five. And we're gonna do five ones. So one, two, three, four, and five, the last of our crispy dollar dues. So $30 going towards that. And I'm hoping $30 is going to be enough, guys, because the thought of putting in $40 to gas is just gut-wrenching to me, okay? I have a very fuel-efficient car. I shouldn't have to do that, but um, yeah, here's hoping, guys. Yeah. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and put this back in there. Let's do that. So $30 in gas this week. I can't believe I started out with 15 and here we are already. <laughs> Moving on up to, to 30. Okay, let me just quickly do my coins. So I have quite a bit of change this week, guys. And the reason is, so the week prior, obviously, um, I went out with my friend on Valentine's Day and <laughs> we met up at, um, at his uh, apartment and he literally has change everywhere. And I was like, dude, can I please have your change? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah go for it. Yeah, like, excuse me? How, how can you just leave this on the ground? Literally every nook and cranny. The, yeah, yeah, it's there. I'm going to put my rose quartz back. But, uh, do guys not care about change? Like I just, I, I just want to know asking for a friend because this is the best thing in the world. I mean, I can't complain here. This is like, I've hit the jackpot essentially. Oh fudge. I probably should have opened this before I went ahead and took everything out, but that's okay. Oh, okay. Opened. So we have quite a bit of coins in here, guys. This is absolutely crazy. Like, look at this. Oh, may you guys get money this week. So that's it for my coins. It's getting quite hefty, to be honest. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put my coins, my coin purse away. Let's put it back into my envelopes. Okay, and we're going to put this aside. Now we're going to move on to my receipts. So I'm not going to forget about this, guys. So my receipts for the week did quite a bit. Um, some of them are obviously my grocery ones, which I use... I use gift cards for my grocery funds, so don't have to do it for my cash out. Um, okay, so if you guys haven't already heard about the Fesh Rewards app, you should download it. It's essentially an app where you take a picture of, like, let's say your grocery store receipt, your groceries receipt, or let's say you went out for the week and you have a receipt from that. You just take a picture and um, scan it into the app, and then that gets converted into points, and then those points can later on be used uh, towards gift cards of your choice. So, um, essentially I would say on the average, you'd get 25 cents a scan. So, um, that's 25 points. So, um, if you guys haven't already, please use my referral code here. Hopefully it's popping up on the screen now. Boop, beep, boop, bop. And, um, if you scan your first receipt and you download the app and whatnot, uh, you get 2000 points and I get 2000 points. So it's a win-win situation. I would, I would just, I would be so grateful, guys. Thank you guys so much in advance. And um, yeah, that's my whole spiel for Fetch Rewards. Okay, so now we are going to go ahead and move on to stuffing our bills and our sinking funds. So let's do our bills first. And so that's going to be my red hem binder. <sighs> this is the last week we're going to be stuffing for this. So subscriptions I've already done. Rent is going to get $250. Let's move this aside a little bit more. Right? Okay. So, $250. So that's going to be two $100 bills. One, two, and a $50 bill. So that's $250 right there. Let's get this sorted, shall we? Okay, now let's see. We should have eight hundred and fifty dollars. So one, two, three, four, five, six, fifty, seven, twenty, forty, oop, forty, sixty, eighty, that's eight hundred, twenty, thirty. 40, 45, and 50. So that is a total of $850, which is right. So this is going to be going in for March, right? Yeah. Yeah, guys, I cannot believe this. So $850 there. We are done there. 
Okay, so that's done for rent. Now we're gonna move on to utilities and utilities is going to get $75. And since this comes out every two months, I think this is the month that I'm gonna be paying for it or like March is. So um, we are gonna put a 50, a 20, and a five. Okay, so let's see how much we've got here. We've got 50, 100, 50, so 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, uh, 270, 280, 285, 290, 295, and 300, and that is correct also. So $300 going towards utilities. Hopefully it's not that expensive, but you never know. Okay, so utilities is done and we've already done our cash envelope. So now we're gonna move on to our sinking funds. And so that is going to be, man, my bills binder is very chunky right now. I mean, it's not gonna be chunky in a couple days. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to what we're gonna be stuffing for my sinking funds. So. This week, we will, be, we will be stuffing, holy cow, a tongue twister. <laughs> um, we'll be stuffing birthdays, gifts, retirement, and travel. So we're going to start off with birthdays and gifts, and I believe they're both in the same one. I'm definitely going to need some water after this. I feel like I've been talking for days. Okay, so birthdays. So we've got 15 here and we're going to add another five. So that's $20 total towards birthdays, which is so good since I think I have a birthday. No, more end of March, I think, or early April, something like that. Now we're going to move on to gifts and gifts is going to get $5. So $5 here. I am hoping to save up enough money to get a gift for one of my friends. Um, yeah, they got a new job. Um, yeah, so I want to get a gift, a little gift for them uh, to say congrats. So that is what I'm going to be saving up for. So that's gifts there. And then now we're going to move on to retirement. And that is over in this binder. I think this one, yeah. Okay, so not stuffing personal, pets, house, retirement, yes. So retirement's gonna get 10 or $5 so that we have 15 here and that's another five. So we have 20 total to retirement, which is a great start. Might not seem like much, but I'll start adding up. So now we're gonna move on to travel. And so that is in our green Mojo Jojo binder. Okay. So not stuffing medical toiletries. Travel is going to get $5 this week. And we have a total of 15 here. So we're going to add another five. So that's $20 total towards travel, which is amazing. I definitely want to do some traveling, hopefully in the next year, but we'll see. We'll see how much I can save up. Okay, so now we've got some rollover. So let's go ahead and put this aside since we are done with this. And let's take out a rollover. Rollover is in the back. Yes. So let's see how much rollover we have. Oh yeah, because this is for the month of February, essentially. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 35, and 40. Let's see if we actually beat it. 45, 50. Okay, so we had, ooh, okay, so we had a $10 adding this week. And so in total for the month of February, we were able to save up and roll over is 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, and $50. So we beat 
our January rollover, which is amazing, guys. We did that. $50 to go into my low priority sinking funds. That is amazing. Wow. Okay. So now we've got that lonely little dollar that we are going to be stuffing into our $1 jar quarterly savings challenge here. And so we are going to put that here. So one lonely dollar. And we're just going to stuff that in, I guess. You know what? I scoff at the fact that it's only a dollar, but you know what? It, it's going to add up, guys. So there we go. This is definitely filling up nicely. Yeah, I feel like I'm probably going to need a bigger jar, but maybe not. I mean, I still have like another layer here that I can stuff everything in. So yeah, definitely nice though. Okay, guys, I think that is it. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Please hit that notification bell so I know, so you know when I upload next. And I will see you guys next week for the first week of March. And hopefully you guys catch my last um, video, which was my week number three, February um, cash out check-in, um, where I pull funds, uh, money from my cash envelopes to pay myself back. I'd greatly appreciate that um, since that is something that I just recently introduced to my channel. Um, so yeah, guys, I honestly hope you guys had a great February all in all. Um, yeah, what are the, some things that you guys are looking forward to for March? Um, yeah, thank you guys again, and I will see you guys next week. Bye, budgeters. Thank you.